welcome to What's Up, I'm Raymond. And I'm Amanda. In this episode of What's Up, we bring you the highlights of the Singapore International Racing Festival. Yes, and the results for the Singapore Airlines International Cup and Chris Flyer International Sprint. From the 9th of March to 20th of May, the Singapore International Racing Festival provided plenty of activities to engage the public on the sports of kings. We also spoke with Chef Quentin Pereira during the post position draw about his preparation for the event. It was another successful Singapore International Racing Festival 2012. Through the series of promotional activities, public awareness on the sport of kings was brought to another level. Road shows featured equine exhibits to showcase horse racing information, horseshoe pitching competition provided fun for everyone, while horseshoe painting gave children the opportunity to be creative for charitable causes. The appearance of a lovely eater of bells also generated intense voting on who would become the ultimate favourite. Racing Connections had a great time mingling and participating in games at the chill party, while the gala dinner was a fairly relaxing moment prior to the big day. What's Up caught up with Chef Quentin Pereira in an exclusive interview at the post position draw. Started off with passion. I used to enjoy cooking. So I tried cooking for a group of friends and they enjoyed it. And then after some time, uh, I started working with my dad in the kitchen. And I really enjoyed it, so I got into it. I believe some of your recipes have been handed down from your grandmother. Yes, uh, all actually most of the recipes have, are, are for my grandmother's recipes and passed down to my dad and then to me. Apart from Eurasian cuisine, what, what other types of cuisine do you like to, uh, to sample and, uh, and, uh, and try to create? Uh, I do a bit of Italian, a bit of uh, local dishes, the, the Chinese, the Malays, the Indians. So I try and infuse them and try and make, create something new every time. Can you tell us some of the dishes you created for the, uh, the post position draw today? Uh, for today's uh, menu, we had a chicken curry devil, which is very traditional Eurasian. We had a minced chicken stew, then we had uh, patri, we had quite, quite a number of dishes, shepherd's pie, vegetarian bihun. Uh, basically, Eurasian cuisine is a very traditional uh, fusion. You see, so, all the cooking that we do has tradition, uh, has uh, European and Asian influence or flavours in them. Do you have a favourite dish that you've created here today, something that you'd really like to eat? Uh, I think the pork roast beef is just uh, fantastic. <laughs> Where can viewers find out more about your style and your, your creativity? Uh, the main restaurant is actually at uh, 139 Ceylon Road, it's at the Eurasian Community House. Singapore Turf Club has blocked another exciting show at the Singapore Race Course on Sunday, 20th of May. The annual Singapore Airlines International Club and Chris Fly International Spring have generated global television coverage across five continents. Not only were the two groupman races covered live by Channel News Asia and Supersports, major regional players such as Bloomberg, Eurosports Asia and Orbit Showtime, along with other state broadcasters, also telecasted the events on their networks. After disappointing news that Rocket Man had been withdrawn from the Chris Fly International Sprint, trainer Patrick Short was still able to grab a straight success in back-to-back -back wins in the Group One Spring with Atoll. Yeah, it's a bit of sweet, um, you know. Rocky not here. Uh, I'd love him to be in here more than anything, but um, a good second choice hiding, and I was always a bit confident. Jockey by Baron Vorster. Ato scored a one and a half lengths over Mr. Big with Secret Accept a length and a quarter away in third position, while the favourite Krypton Factor finished fifth. Badetto out of the middle goes up with Mr. Big. Secret Asset running on, but finds the front for Bar and Vorster and Newbury racing, and Addo's going to take out the Chris Flyer. Addo wins it by a length and a half over Mr. Big. Secret Asset, and next him was Captain Obvious, followed by you Krypton know, Factor. I just thought he was really, really well in himself uh, going last week through with his trial. He had a nice short gallop, and uh, he knows the horse that things are like, but uh, tonight he was thinking about the right thing, and uh, he never uh, looked at anything sideways. I pulled him away from Mr. Big and let him stride away to the inside, up to the middle, and he just kept extending, and uh, I was just hoping nothing was coming at me, but, you know, he was just finding the line the whole way, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, like this, you know, my thoughts are with Rocketman back in the box, but 
you know, you know, to win a race like this, it's just really one of the big things. With this big win, Dennis Evans of Newbury Racing Stable said the victory was one of his career highlights and there would be plans to retire Ito as a stallion back in South Africa. In the Singapore Airlines International Cup, Chin Chong backed the coveted $3 million win for trainer Carlos Lafon Perez in his second attempt for the SI Cup in spectacular fashion. Carlos' wife, Patricia, took over the preparation on touchdown. Hong Kong-based Olivia Deluge jockey the seven-year-old Chin Chong to victory and became one of the first jockeys to have won both the Chris Flyer Sprint and SIA Cup. International Cup, Zidane is down the outside, but Chin Chong, luckless 12 months ago, gets revenge and takes the Singapore Airlines International Cup in great fashion. Chin Chong over Zidane. I take my chance. Sometimes when you have a, a second chance, you ride with a bit of confidence, and that's what I do today. I take the risk to stay inside during the race, and Felix improve in front of me and he made me win the race, so I was able to switch him out and then he finished. Chin Chong has now garnered close to $2.5 million in prize money for his owner, the Port France. Patricia Lafon Paris said they would love to come back to defend their crown next year. We hope you enjoyed this episode of What's Up? And for more information, please log on to turfclub.com.sg. Bye!